Well, uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you all for being here this morning. Um, thank you for being here as we take this important step in our community. community. Today marks the official launch of the Jackson Madison County Children's Cabinet, a collaborative effort that's been in the making since February of last year. The Children's Cabinet is not just another initiative, it's a commitment from the heart of our community to ensure the well being of our children, youth, and families. During my campaign for county mayor uh, a year and a half ago, I attended a meeting that uh, I really was attending to be an informed citizen, an informed candidate. And I found out in that meeting that we were ranked 95 out of 95 counties in the state of Tennessee in childhood well-being by the Commission, Tennessee Commission on Children and Youth. Uh, that was a, a sobering realization to me, that we were last. I don't like to lose in anything and definitely don't want to come in last. Uh, as a father of two young children, this both saddened me and motivated me even more in my run for county mayor. So as now, as your county mayor, the well-being of children continues to be my number one priority. We're no longer ranked 95th, I'm pleased to say, and we've seen improvements in many different areas, but we have a lot more work to do. That's why you're here today, is because we want to get to work. For the last year, a group of community leaders has been meeting on a monthly basis under the direction of Mayor Conger, Dr. Marlon King, and myself, and form what's called a children's cabinet. A children's cabinet is a cross-systems coordinating body brought together to collaborate around improving outcomes for our children, youth, and families. The idea of a children's cabinet is not new, and many cities across the country have one, including our neighbors in Chattanooga. The Jackson Madison County Children's Cabinet will bring together the three biggest local governing bodies, the City of Jackson, the Jackson Madison County School System, and Madison County. This level of collaboration is unprecedented in our community history, but it's imperative for moving forward as a united community. The Children's Cabinet's mission is to create a cross-sector sector collaborative body that will create and accelerate strategies to improve overall child well-being in Madison County. We will want to see Madison County become the fastest improving child care, uh, county in child well-being. For the last year, we've looked carefully at data. We've brought in subject area experts. We've spent hours upon hours brainstorming and action planning with our community leaders. Through these efforts, the Children's Cabinet has identified four unique priorities in our first year of work. Number one, we aim to improve housing stability for our children and families. Number two, we aim to decrease incidents of youth violence and crime. Number three, we'd like to increase access to high quality childcare and early education. And four, we're gonna enhance mental health outcomes for both children and caregivers. This group is designed to be an action oriented and the people at the table know this. I emphasize that every time we meet, we're not gonna sit around and talk. We're not gonna think of good ideas. We're gonna make things happen. This group is an action-oriented group. We're tired of talking, and we're committed to finding real solutions on the issues our children and our families face. I'm thankful that I'm not leading this effort by myself, but in collaboration with two esteemed colleagues, Mayor Scott Conger and Dr. Marlon King. So I'll now step aside and let them share a few words. All right, thank you, Mayor Massey. Good morning, everyone. All of our guests, members of the media, our community leaders. Today marks a significant milestone in the Jackson Madison County. As mayor of the city of Jackson, I know how important collaboration is. And as a father of two young children myself, I know the importance of this particular work. I stand before you today not just as a city official, but as a participant of the established Jackson Madison County Children's Cabinet. This collaborative venture led by Mayor Massey, Dr. King, and myself symbolize a united front to address the multifaceted challenges facing our children and our families. The Children's Cabinet represents the culmination of months of dedicated efforts, discussions, and shared visions of the government stakeholders, nonprofit leaders, and community advocates. Today, we not only craft a comprehensive plan, but to improve the outcomes for our youth, but we will work to see that plan implemented. And it's an honor to be a part of this initiative. It transcends political boundaries, governmental boundaries, emphasizing a collective responsibility to take the nurturing environment for our next generation. I have Dr. King come up and share some words too. Thank you, Mayor Conger and Mayor Massey. And good morning to all of you, Madison County, as superintendent of the Jackson Madison County School System. I am deeply committed to the holistic development of our students. The formation of the Jackson Madison County Children's Cabinet is a testament to our shared belief that education is foundational to the success of our whole community. And that success of education system extends beyond the confines of our classrooms. Consider this, 20% of a child's life is spent within our schoolhouse. The other 80% shaped by the broader community encompasses homes, 
neighborhoods and collectives and collectives supports in various uh, stakeholders. The Children's Cabinet recognizes the vital role of each of us to play in influencing the well-being of our children. Through collaborative efforts, we aim not only to enrich their academic experiences, but also to create a community where every child is valued, supported, and empowered to succeed. I am thankful of the leadership of my colleagues, Mary Massey, Mary Congan. I look forward to seeing how this groundbreaking initiative will improve our community. Morning. As Chief of Police in Jackson, I understand the significance of preventative measures in ensuring the safety and security of our community, particularly our youth. The Jackson Madison County Children's Cabinet aligns, aligns seamlessly with our commitment to proactive community engagement and strategies that address the root causes of challenges faced by our young residents. I'm thankful for the opportunity to collaborate with nonprofit organizations, government departments, and our school system to further the work that JPD and the Madison County Sheriff's Department are doing to keep our community safe. Thank you, Chief Corley. I appreciate this opportunity to echo your sentiments about uh, th this groundbreaking initiative. As the president and CEO for West Tennessee Healthcare, our organization recognizes the work that we do in this area. And uh, it does us um, so much to recognize the needs for kids in their physical as well as their mental well-being in our community. The Children's Cabinet will serve as a beacon of hope for fostering an environment where the health and happiness of our youngest community members are prioritized. West Tennessee Healthcare is proud to participate in this work and we recognize our different uh, modalities that we provide in our community towards this work. And we look forward to seeing the outcomes that come from this children's cabinet work. As we draw to a close, I want to express my gratitude to each one of you for joining us today. The formation of the Jackson Madison County Children's Cabinet is a milestone for our community and your support is invaluable. I did want to highlight some of the members of our, of our Children's Academy. Most of them are Children's Cabinet, excuse me, most of them are here. These are position-based membership. Uh, we did not hand select these individuals based on who they were, but on the organizations they represent and their ability to get to that level. Uh, of course, uh, I, as your county mayor and city mayor, Jackson Madison County Superintendent, are serving as chairs of the Children's Cabinet. Our sheriff, chief of police, which you've heard from, juvenile justice judges, director of juvenile court services, Madison County CASA representation, directors of park recreation, both city and county, director of Jackson Housing Authority, representatives from the Tennessee Homeless Solutions, Department of Human Services, Department of Children's Services, Tennessee Commission on Children and Youth, West Tennessee Healthcare, Healthy Families, Southwest Tennessee, La Bonner Children's Hospital, United Way of West Tennessee, and the Boys and Girls Club. Those are people who are impacting our youth daily in their day-to-day -day jobs. This is a way for us to collaborate and get those, all those opinions and voices in the room to make greater good happen. So let's remember that our children are not just our future, they are our present. By coming together, we can create community where every child has the opportunity to thrive. I encourage you all to stay informed and engaged, follow the progress of the Children's Cabinet, express your support to elected officials and consider contributing to this vital cause. Together we can make Madison County the best place to live and raise a family. Now I'd like to open up the floor with questions and feel free to address any inquiries you may have regarding the Children's Cabinet. Well, I think we had a pretty difficult challenge getting it down to four uh, and, and we wanted to be laser focused on what we did um, obviously if if uh, if youth aren't uh, in in stable housing that impacts their ability to learn that impacts their their mental health that impacts their propensity maybe to violence um, so so that that has obviously been listed first our housing stability but those are really in no order um, we we have actively taken steps to to, to mitigate all of these pieces now this is not an overnight problem solution that we're going to be able to solve, but uh, the reason that we have four goals is because there are four quality goals that are needed to be touched. 
Um, and once again, everybody in the room, every time we meet, those 25 to 30 individuals each kind of have a time to shine. And that's been the unique thing that I've seen in the children's cabinet meetings. I don't know if anybody else wants to address any particular uh, action point. <laughs> they push me back. <laughs> Olivia, where, where's 89? That's what I was going to wanted for 89. So yeah, that's you know it's it's and I've said this before. It's uh, it's if you have to lose 100 pounds, when you lose 10 pounds, be proud of yourself. But you hadn't done much yet, and that's kind of where we are now. We've lost about seven, eight pounds, uh, but we hadn't done much yet. So we have a long way to go. I think it shows marked improvement. What we're doing is working, even before uh, I took office and before this cabinet uh, was formed a year ago. But I, I just hope this continues that momentum, and uh, we'll be we'll be. Uh, top on the list before you know it. Uh, I think be on the lookout. What, what Mayor Massey touched on <clears throat> is uh, opportunities to serve, opportunities to volunteer, uh, opportunities to give monetarily uh, as we develop these initiatives out on what we need. Uh, as we reach out to those other organizations. Um, and so, like I said, paying attention and being involved so when those opportunities do arise, uh, that you can plug in. And we've already talked about some of that today of kind of a, a volunteer hub for those that want to volunteer in, in different areas of emergent need, of, of uh, long-term care, of providing opportunities. And so uh, as we get those and roll those out, uh, be ready. Yeah, so I think, you know, a lot different in different areas um, sometimes actually just creating a plan when there is none and so we've done a lot of that so far and it's been a lot of just talking about the issues and not just superfluously uh, talking about what we can do tangible that can make sure it makes some some progress in these areas and one thing we realized from the last week's weather is we have to have an emergent plan for short-term housing for families and how do we do that and how we provide a safe opportunity and a safe place and so um, yeah sometimes action looks different from just creating a plan as part of that action Speaking of those plans, uh, obviously it's still the early stages, but do you have any concrete specifics you can potentially share? Yeah, I'll address that. Um, well, having having been meeting for a year now, um, it's been a lot of, of discussion about specific plans and how to put them in action. We found out, we found out pretty early that having an organization like this, uh, we need to have some solidity uh, to to this uh, to this organization. So uh, before my governing body, the county commission, before the city council and the school board in February, we're going to have a, uh, a a resolution of support in between between all those entities, uh, essentially cementing the existence of this group and putting it in place as a body that uh, that is existent in existence and has needs and is and is working towards uh, the solutions that are going to benefit all three of those those bodies: school system, city, and county. So so that that's something that's happening proactively. Uh, we also will be looking um, to set up. A, we are in the process of setting up um, a fund at the West Tennessee Healthcare Hope and Healing Foundation. So we'll have an opportunity for funding uh, through private or public donations, as well as grant opportunities. So that's something that we found out needed needed to happen. So once again, the idea of being an action oriented group was good and has done great work this last year. Uh, we've actually had some recognition from the state of Tennessee. Uh, we sent a group uh, mainly comprised of, of cabinet members to Harvard, uh, actually were invited to Harvard to, to study and to talk about these issues, and, and that was uh, beat out hundreds of other communities in the, in, across the country to be invited to, to Harvard to talk about these issues. So that's before we were even official. So pretty proud of that, that the word is getting out, but we need to have some solidity around the organization, uh, the leadership structure, who's actually governing, how we make decisions going forward. So all those things are taking place, uh, and that's really as we speak. Once these resolutions of support are, are approved by those bodies, you're really going to see a takeoff because it's now public. Now we have to put up, right? Because we put it out there, we get we got to show up and, and, and give some proof to what we've been doing. I did not attend that trip to Harvard. Uh, we sent our team of ladies, actually, uh, and I'm getting a no that she doesn't want to talk about it. Um, <laughs> But uh, you know they were up there to talk about issues with communities um, around housing, around childcare, uh, around early childhood education, and uh, and once again, this was a group that that was invited to collaborate nationally, and so we were there with the likes of big cities, um, I, you know these 
these these cities that really um, our cabinet is, is a baby fish in these ponds, but they were invited because of the ability and, and the, the, the opportunities that we've seen for improvement in this area. And uh, we sent a group of, like I said, we let the ladies lead the way, which is never a mistake. And uh, they went to Harvard and came, came back with a lot of initiatives and ideas from the national perspective uh, that we're able to put to work even now. Well, you know, I, I believe that a goal without uh, a plan is just a wish. And, uh, and right now, um, we need to have an endpoint. Right now, we've set that as being the fastest improving in child care in the state. Um, I, I don't want to set a goal that's, that's unattainable and get burnt out. At the same time, we have to have some measured results. And that, that, uh, that TCCY um, ranking is just one way that we can look at that. I think the community will see it as a whole. And when you look at reduction in crime violence and, and, and youth gun violence primarily, we have plenty of data to back that up. Uh, and we explored that and we looked at pockets where that's happening and, and ways we can impact that. We're going to see a measured improvement in that if we're successful. Uh, so that, that's going to be a way. Some of these other ones, improving housing stability, that's an ongoing problem. Once again, as Mayor Conger highlighted, we saw an increased need for that last week. And so uh, the next time this comes around, the preparation we have, the plan we have in place will show proof of concept for the plan that we put in place out of this, uh, out of this uh, cabinet. How, uh, high quality child care and early education. There's already initiatives that we really can't speak of because I don't have anything tangible to show you, but um, there's some tremendous momentum around child care needs in our community. Um, back in the year 2000, there were about uh, over 80 child care facility providers in West Tennessee. Right now there's about 20. Uh, so you go from 80 to 20 in the period of 20 years, that has a tremendous impact. And our population hasn't decreased during that time. So, uh, so obviously that's a number we can, we can mark. If we go from 20 to 21, that's improvement. So uh, I hate to say we're going to improve to this level, but I want to say we're going to be the fastest improving, which is going to show, once again, proof of concept and hopefully momentum and giving and community support behind these initiatives. Well, once again, thank you all for being here. Um, spread the word. Uh, these entities that I've named, they're here for questions if you all have them. And I just want to thank them publicly for their time and effort and their opinions and their perspective. Uh, we are, once again, the Children's Cabinet that is going to do stuff. Uh, we're going to take action, and we're going to see tangible results. That's my commitment to the community, and I uh, appreciate you all being here this morning. Thank you so much.